Good morning, everybody. Guess everybody's getting ready for Thanksgiving. Thought we would go ahead and make a pumpkin pie today. And to do that, we're going to make, we're going to use a can of Libby's 100% pure pumpkin. So what we want to do first is get our pie plate. This is a deep dish pie plate. And this is a ready-made, Pillsbury ready-made crust. So we're going to take that out and we're going to unroll this. Hopefully you got to get it out and let it get a little bit of room temperature. I've had it out about five minutes, I think. So we're going to roll this out and just going to roll this into our pie baker. We'll go ahead and let that sit there for a minute and get room temperature while we start mixing up our stuff. All right. The recipe is on the back of the pumpkin pie can. So we're going to mix our dry ingredients first. It's going to be three-fourths cup of sugar. Three-fourths cup of sugar. It's going to be a half a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of cinnamon. Let's see, a teaspoon. Now this is called cinnamon plus. It's got a little bit of extra stuff in it, but cinnamon or whatever you got, cinnamon. Got a half a teaspoon of ginger. Let's see, which one's a half a teaspoon of ginger? Half a teaspoon of ginger. And then an eighth. Let's see, an eighth. Let's see how much cloves. A fourth a teaspoon of cloves. That's this one right here. All right. That's all my spices in there. That is all the dry ingredients we got. So we mix that in the small bowl here. We'll just whisk that around here in this small bowl. Get all the spices incorporated in with our sugar. Just like that. All right. Now, for our wet ingredients, we're going to beat the eggs in a large bowl. So we got two eggs. I'm going to put them right here in my mixer bowl. Two eggs, my good old farm fresh eggs, already went and picked up the eggs this morning from my girls. There we go. Now I'm just going to use the paddle beater on this. Put this on, we're going to start beating them two eggs. Stir in the pumpkin and then the dry ingredients. So this is the pumpkin. We're going to go ahead and put this in there. Go ahead and turn it off. Be safe. Alright. Putting a whole can of pumpkin in. Got the can of pumpkin. I'm gonna mix that up. There we go. Stir in the pumpkin and then the dry ingredients. And then we're gonna pour in a can of evaporated milk at the very end. So we're gonna beat that up with our eggs. And then we're gonna start adding our dry ingredients our sugar and our spices. Mix that up. We got the oven preheated to 425 degrees. And what we're going to do is bake it for 15 minutes at 425. Then we're going to reduce the heat to 350 and bake it for about 30 or 40 more minutes. And you just got to watch it. Okay, while well, that's beaten up, Let's pull our dough over here. It's kind of room temperature now. And just 
Push it up around the edges like this. There you go. It's real easy. Just buy that refrigerated dough crust and have at it. Now, just mix that for a minute. And then we're going to slowly add this can of milk. And that's our last ingredient, is this can of milk. And when all that gets mixed up, we're going to pour it in this pie shell and put it in the oven. And that's how easy a homemade pumpkin pie is. Look at there. Now wasn't that easy, y'all? You don't even have to buy them old nasty store-bought things. Just mix that up like that. Now it looks kind of watery. That's all right, that's how it's supposed to look. I'm just now getting started with my Thanksgiving because there's only going to be two of us for dinner. It's the smallest Thanksgiving ever. But then Brooke's going to come by when she gets off work, so there'll at least be three people eating the food. There we go. Now we're just going to pour it into our pie shell. And get all of the goodie out of the bowl here. And that's it. We're going to put it in the oven to bake, and after it bakes, I'll come back to you. All right. We cooked it for 15 minutes on 425, and then we cooked it for 30 minutes at 350. And it appears to be done. Let's see if I can move this and get a closer look at that. And there's our pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving tomorrow. All right, I'm going to let y'all go.